Hello friends, welcome to bsvtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video series, I am going to demonstrate you a very interesting chart in click view, which is called as a butterfly chart or a tornado chart. By default, the butterfly chart or tornado chart is not available in click view. So we will be going to build this by doing a trick in click view. But before implementing it before building it let me show that how a butterfly or a butterfly or tornado chart looks like that's the butterfly chart so as you can see here this butterfly chart represents the population growth between two years 2001 and 2011 so i represent it through a butterfly chart through this style and at the same time, I also present, I also display the growth percentage between both the two years, both two, both two years between 2001 and 2011 in the, uh, and I have added, displayed it on an, on the axis. Also, I have put a filter on this chart that it will display only top 10 provinces, which has got the highest growth percentage rate. It will display only those provinces in this chart. Otherwise, because there are uh, more than 20 provinces in India, so this chart will become bulky. If you want to show all of them, we can put up, we can remove that filter. So we'll be going to we'll be going to see that during implementation. So let's start implementing same. And also the data set which I'm using here is that the data set which contains the population for all the provinces as well as along with their city names for the both two years for 2011 and 2001. So let's see how to implement it. So I'm do, I'm going to do this from the scratch. So I remove it first of all from my existing solution. And very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the data. So to load the data into click view, we take help edit a script. We use edit a script and those who are not aware of those who not sure about how to load the data into click view they can visit my existing video which demonstrate how to load the data into click view from various data sources here i have load the data and reload it once i click on reload the data gets loaded now let's start building the butterfly chart so right click new sheet object chart and I'm going to use a combo chart here because as you can see here, there is no butterfly chart available. So I take help of combo chart. So I select combo chart. I can give a title here. Population. Growth percent. Combo chart next dimension as province. So I select India population and province add it next I need to add the expression here so first I'll add the expression for 2000 uh, for the population for 2001 so total population of 2001 province wise so sum of I'll just write here sum sum of population 2001 and I give a label here total population 2001 another expression sum of population 2011 and total population 2011 and if i simply finish it right now you can have a look here this chart forms along with a bar and a line chart it is not look like what i want it's not a it's not look like a butterfly chart. We need to customize it. We need to do the massaging for same. So let's do that. And also you can see all the provinces are appearing here. So I would like to restrict it only for top 10 provinces. So very first thing I'll do, I'll put a restriction on this. So I click on properties. Dimension limit. And I restrict it largest 10 values. So you can see the restriction has been. That's the restriction. If you want, we can sort it. We'll do that later on. Then I'm going to 
I click on expression and if you want we can have values on data points but I don't want any values on data point right now I'll change the style and change the orientation to vertical apply and you can see the axis has been changed so the provinces appears on the right side on y axis and the values appears on the x axis then I again get to expression select the second expression and you can see the second expression display option set to line I uncheck line and check bar here and when I click apply it creates side by side bar so instead of side by side bar I want to create a stacked bar so we'll convert it will transform it into stacked bar so click on style and instead of grouped I, I select stacked bar and apply so it appears in a stacked bar now then I want the access for same so for access I again get to expression and I'm going to custom I'm going to change the expression so I'll just put a I'll just change the expression multiply minus one and okay apply so you can have a look here I'm not getting the exact requirement because the others are too much so I get to dimension limits and uncheck for show others and now I got the values here so I'm getting the values for Assam Chandigarh Himachal Pradesh and so on also I'm getting the negative axis here so I click on axis tab and hide axis for both the expressions one by one or I, I hide the axis for both the expressions so it's looking nice and if you want you can remove the legend you can do the sorting I don't want this label here so I get journal and show title in chart at the same time I want to add the growth percentage total growth what is the percentage here I would like to I would like to display the growth percent so for that I will be going to create a new expression I add a new expression and I calculate the percentage by dividing the population of 2011 by the total population from 2001 okay and growth percent I don't want to demonstrate it through a line I want values on data point instead of values and data point I check text on Excel because if I check values on data point and apply you can see the values are coming and values are too big so I just wanted to customize it I get to numbers and select growth percent and fix to one decimal show in percent so we got the percentage 137.7 that they should be equal definitely obviously it would be equal and it would be adding the it will be displaying the values on both the axis instead of this I would like to display only along with the X Y axis along with the province name so I click on expressions and instead of values on data point I check text on access the text color is not so visible so I'm going to customize it I expand growth click on text color and in definition I define the red color or the color in which you want so I specify red or green or yellow whatever color you whichever color you like I specify this okay apply and you can see it appears in red color So that's how we can create a butterfly chart or a tornado chart which represents the growth percent between two years. That's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting. If you like so, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Don't forget to press hit like. If you have any questions, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can connect with us for the customized training on ClickView. We are subject matter, subject matter expert in ClickView and we have got a huge video library for that.
keep watching have a nice day goodbye